Hello, my name is Barbara Lewis with Singing After 40. Welcome. Today I want to talk about an issue that I've found with many singing students over many years of teaching. One issue returns and returns, and I want to talk about one aspect of that. There are two things involved with this. Some students simply don't like their voices, and it could be because of lack of training, or it could be because they simply don't like the sound of their singing and speaking voices, period. And I will deal with that issue in another video. But now, I want to talk about the people who don't like their singing voice sound, and it can be improved in, in simple ways. And th this happens quite often, where you just help a person get over the hump, a certain kind of a hump of sound that they don't like, and then they begin to build something that's really uh, valuable to them. I have a, one really simple exercise that helps, um, in my experience, uh, has helped many students to just get a little bit more of something into their voice and they go, okay, I like that. A lot of us who are not trained will, will just make sound and for some people that's, that's enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's very simple, it's very natural, but it it lacks a certain kind of professionalism that some people want in their voices. You you find this element in pop, uh, in jazz, certainly in classical, but in folk, it, it, that's a simpler style, but if you're moving into other styles and you want to add a little something richer, um, here's how to do it. So imagine this simple fix. Instead of just saying, yeah, 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 now you're going to add a bit of cry, some tearfulness into that sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, it sounds a little bit phony, a little bit forced in this exercise, because it's all you're thinking about. But when you have that element of sound in your voice, with words, with melody, with a, a track underneath you, that small, simple fix can bring a sweetness to the sound that you hear in a lot of more professional singing. It's, it's one way to kind of sweeten and, and enrich your sound very fast. This exercise is a really simple one. Uh, it could be just those three notes. For some of us we know that as three blind mice. Or you could do the five note descent. So what are you doing when you add that really simple but powerful element? What are you doing with your voice? Well, there's so many things that go on in here that we, we can't really articulate. But one of them is that you're tilting your larynx a little bit. That, that changes how the vocal cords vibrate. Uh, and it adds a bit of sweetness to the tone that you don't get in other ways. You can do that in head voice as well. I'm going to go higher. So here's a very straight sound it's not wrong uh, it's a sound that probably most of us will use now and then or as our voice but if you wanted to add something to that that's sweeter richer looks, I, I would imagine, I don't see myself, but it looks as though you're kind of unhappy. But once you get the feeling of that tilt inside the, the throat, that laryngeal tilt, 
you don't have to look as unhappy. You can sing a, 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 a very dramatic a theatrical song without looking unhappy. You just know the feeling of that tilt. My feeling when I do it is that my breath is a little more compressed, um, that, I, that there's more drama in my body when I do that. And I think all of those things, plus many things that we cannot articulate, pour into a sound a tiny sound coming from a tiny part of the body, but that changes it enough so that you can hear the difference and you build on that as you build a more professional sound. So I wanted to do this very quickly today. This is a short video just to give you a sense of how you can begin to overcome that feeling inside of you that you do not like your singing voice. And when your singing voice changes, so does your speaking voice more often than not. The two of those things will become more appealing to your ear. Another video on not liking your voice, period, that's another issue. But for today, that's the end. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, subscribe, um, like it, uh, leave a comment if you like, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.